I said that my next project is going to be the blinds for the windows, but before I do that, I've got to do a little bit of a carving here. I'm going to make an intro for my carving knife video, which I've decided to re-edit and re-upload. I've been doing that quite a bit lately, taking my older videos, my older projects, and making new videos for them. So I wanted something interesting to start off this one. So I'm going to carve this into this piece of 2x12 and it's going to be a stop motion type thing. I've got my camera. I need to set up a holder so that it's dead steady. It can't move. And I'm going to get started on that right now. I could use my tripod for this, but it's not really as steady as I would like it to be. And I really need this to not move. I'm going to use this piece of 5 8 inch melamine and screw it onto the end of my workbench. Alright, that's not bad. To mount the camera at the correct height above the surface, I'm going to use this piece of 2x6 here. And it has to be high enough to be for the camera to be far enough away from the work. Also, I need to be able to get in there and actually carve the wood. So I figure this is going to be high enough. I already checked the camera. That's high enough for that. So I'm just going to lay it here up against that. And then I thought about something over here, but I'm just going to use my zero clearance fence for the miter saw and get it clamped in my vise. So it's up tight against that, like that, and then try to make it as plumb as I can. Then I can use that to hold up that end. If I have to run a brace down, I can do that as well. screw it onto the bench I'm going to use my little tail vise here which rarely gets used for anything but will be great for this put that up there and then longer screw in up here so I could just mount the camera up here like this but First of all, it'll be a little bit too far this way. Another thing is I need to be able to get at the battery just in case. I don't think it'll happen, but just in case I need to take it out and charge it. So I've got a piece of 2x2 two two here that I've drilled a hole through. I'm going to mount the camera on it like that, and then I'm going to screw the stick on from the other side. Of the Okay, I've got a two inch bolt here and that will come through, but it will come to too far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nut on here, thread it all the way up, fast forward this section, and then a washer on there as well. Then I can mount the camera on there and tighten the screw. If it bottoms out, then all I need to do is tighten the nut. Then I need to get up on top of this and look through my viewfinder and try to line up the work with the center of the page, or the center of the frame, I mean. It's a little bit difficult. Normally I would have live view here, but I've got the camera, t I've got the battery taken out to charge, so I need to move this that way. I can double check after. So now that I've got the work positioned, what I need to do is I need to screw this down to the bench as well because that can't move either. I'm just going to make sure I'm well out of the frame. This is pretty clean and smooth, but I'm going to take my sanding block and sand it down a bit to get rid of some of these ripples from the cutter when they cleaned it at the mill. I got to position my template, which is just a printed sheet of paper with the letters the right size. And that has to be centered on the thing. At the very end of the carving, I want to place the knife right below knife. 
also so I need to leave space for that so I'll just get up and look through the viewfinder again and try to make sure that I have enough above and below the frame these pictures are not video sized they're not 16 by 9 so I'm gonna have to crop them down so you want them to have equal space on the top and on the bottom I just need to pull that back down a little bit and move it over just a little bit I'm gonna start on the M up here and what I'm going to do is just cut across the top, then I'll remove the paper, and then I'll cut that out. Now, I'm not going to show all of the carving here. It's going to take quite a long time, and I don't have that much space on my camera. And now I can take a picture, if I can find the remote. there it is all done I did it in one shot right from beginning to end now that it's finished I can take the camera down and bring it in and take the pictures off there to see how many I wound up with quite a few for sure um, hopefully it's enough to get it you know a smooth looking um, stop motion